Hello there, everyone. This is Mary Ann from Revealing Light, Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. Wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. I'm here to do Earth Signs for the month of December. We'll be looking at Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus, taking a look at what are the issues, what are the challenges, what are the opportunities, what are the breakthroughs. This is a general reading and it may or may not resonate with everyone. If it does, claim it. If not, move on. Sun signs, moon signs, rising signs. Uh, you should check them all out because they make up a more complete picture. The sun sign is the quintessential you, the essence of who you are. The rising sign is how you express yourself in the world and the moon is how you feel about everything. What are your feelings telling you? Uh, so, having said all of that, uh, also one last thing, beware of scammers. I don't give personal readings. Anyone who is uh, offering a personal reading, please block and report. There are particular scammers over on Facebook. I do have a Facebook page. There's about 5,000 odd followers on my Facebook page. The other scam sites have, you know, 50, 83, something like that. So, don't be someone that gets scammed. If you see someone that's ripped off my logo, please block and support uh, and report them. And also if they appear in the comments section here, block and report them. Chuck them off the social media uh, for, the th for the thieves that they are, thieves and scammers that they are. All right, let's get started with um, Virgo. Oops, I'm using the Light Seas Tarot, the Aquarian Tarot, and the Shaman's Dream Oracle. All right, I'll be starting off with the Light Seers Tarot and the Aquarian to clarify, and followed by the Oracle card reading the Shaman's Oracle. All right, let's uh, tune into Virgo's energy. Okay, so Virgo, I think, are, you know, quite astute and quite intuitive themselves. And I think some of you, I just see someone reading a crystal ball. And so some of you are actually quite intuitive yourselves. You are, well, everyone's concerned about the future, but for some reason you're looking or trying to look into the future to get an answer on a specific thing. What is it that you need to have answers about? Pardon me, it could even be your own mortality. No one can give you that sort of an answer. Pardon me, uh, none of us know the answer to that question. It's in God's hands. All right, let's see uh, what else this is. Some of you could be contemplating a move, but it's also going down one pathway to it, to get to somewhere else, to where you want to be. Uh, so you could be doing exploratory uh, trips or explore if it, this is a project or some sort of community project something family uh, project you could be exploring one way because you know that by the time you commit yourself you want to be absolutely sure and Virgos need to be sure so what what is it for some it is a move even I'm hearing overseas uh, that's not unusual plenty of people are looking to move overseas particularly for my North uh, American viewers at this time, someone, uh, some others are worried about their families as well. Uh, and coming up to Thanksgiving, I'm seeing some, someone sitting at the head of the table. So whether you're missing uh, somebody at the head of the table or whether you're even like some Americans are doing, simply having a very low key Thanksgiving, um, Thanksgiving is, is on the mind uh, at the time that you're watching this reading. Thanksgiving and Christmas as we come up to the holiday period. Okay, let's look at Virgo's strengths, challenges, opportunities. What's coming up for Virgo in December? What's coming up for Virgo in December? I'm seeing grandchildren riding horse or children riding horses. Uh, if that means anything, somebody could be hosting a family gathering as well or looking after grandchildren. What's coming up for Virgos? Okay, so we've got the Five of Pentacles. And unfortunately, you know, when Virgos feel like they're left out in the cold, so to speak, um, they feel like they haven't got the key. There's a doorway there and a key. And you feel like you haven't, even though you could 
get the key and unlock the door. You're too busy sitting in the shadows. Um, so there's something around victimhood here for some. I know that's not a very pleasant thing to say, but that's what I'm seeing. Could also be over money. I haven't got enough of this. I haven't got enough of that. We have the Knight of Swords and it's, it's all about facing the truth. Once, once, Whatever this situation is, once you face the truth, then that's when your journey begins. And it'll take off really, really quickly. You'll have the wind at your back uh, and you'll be able to do what you want. But for a lot of you, I'm sorry, you're just mired in worry and anxiety. Uh, and once you face the truth or see the truth, come to some kind of position, then everything changes. It's like that crow in the Knight of Swords. You, you soar above the anxieties that are keeping you stuck at this time. In the past, we have the Ace of Swords. You felt like you had clarity over, over this situation. Uh, you thought that uh, you knew uh, where you were going or what you were doing, but, but you're searching for clarity at this time. Have the Knight of Wands uh, potentially, I think it's reconnecting with your passion and motivation and asking yourself, what do I really want to do? Because the Knight of Wands uh, is a quick moving knight and it looks like there's a potential for you to move forward in this situation and get out of the rut that you're in. Um, the Four of uh, Cups in the immediate future. So for some there's disappointment, but there's one card remaining one card, sorry, one cup remaining there for you. If only you would reach down and and take it. You know, this is a time I know for, that people are feeling triggered, but that cup is there. That is the Ace of Cups for you. The Two of Wands in the present is uh, something that comes to fruition in time. The atmosphere around is the past, stuck in the past, thinking about the past, the nostalgia. You know, everything changes. There is one thing that's inevitable, and that is change. Often desirable, sometimes necessary, but always inevitable. Two of Pentacles in the hopes and fears, this can be, you know, Trying to make a decision, again, fits with the, the Virgos that are contemplating this new thing, whether they should do it, whether they shouldn't. And then we get the Emperor card, control, taking control of your destiny, making that decision. After somebody has let you down or something has let you down with the Seven of Swords, Six of Pentacles, loans and debts, getting a helping hand. You will get a helping hand to get out of whatever this situation is, to move forward. And it's like it's you could even be your own helping hand. The, the Page of Swords speaks to a light bulb moment, perhaps making a choice, uh, coming out of that illusionary kind of unrealistic state and making a choice uh, for the future. Knight of Pentacles, it's okay. You might feel consistency's been lost, but it hasn't. Consistency will of return. Let's pull an oracle card for you, for Virgo. Show me uh, what's coming up for Virgo in December. Virgo, December. Deep diver, diving into a task. And, and really that, you know, Virgos need to get on with things. They're much better when they're working and productive and doing something. And it's about adaptability. So for some Virgos who are really stuck... Things are going to change. You're going to be able to move forward and experiencing life as it comes. And that gives you the forward motion that you need. Um, the the a base of the pack is the fates. Uh, sometimes we can't see what is in our own best interests. Um, and repairing mind, body and spirit. Some of you are needing direction. They're the energies underlying this. But I think you do have a breakthrough in December and you start to find your forward momentum. All right, that's a Virgo for December. Let's look to Capricorn at 9.41. Capricorn, let's give this these cards a shuffle. Capricorn, 9.41. What's coming up for 
Capricorn. Show me what is coming up for Capricorn. Let's see if I can't see anything that Spirit wants to give me. Okay, so I'm seeing... Hmm, it is the Knight of Pentacles. It is about consistency. So there is a part of your personality that when it's not striving for the Ace or the King of Pentacles or, you know, not striving, you can... Uh, you can relax into consistency and this is what i feel you need you need some consistency all right capricorn what's happening for capricornians capricornians in december strengths weaknesses issues triumphs um what can you show me please spirit capricorn in december ah the image that I got clairvoyantly queen of cups nurturing yourself that's how you reach the steadiness it's nurturing yourself looking after yourself um, not being hard on yourself sitting in your emotions here meditating allowing the light to come through and we've got strength that's how you regain your strength when you uh, take time out and uh, become quiet and allow uh, the answers to arise. So we have the hanged man. Try looking at something another way. This is the light of awareness. Can also be sacrifice. Pausing and suspending. But I'm feeling for you this is all about self-care. There, there she is. He, <laughs> he, she, the knight of pentacles is in the past. So it is about consistency. And that's what sustains you. Consistency at the moment. You're retreating, feeling like you haven't got consistency. Uh, and we get broken hearted, uh, broken heartedness, betrayal, feeling like you've been let down and betrayed. But we get the Seven of Pentacles. This is rallying, Capricorn. This is your energy going back to being grounded and rallying. If plan A doesn't uh, succeed, then try plan B. But I do have the tower that in the in your environment, um, this could have already happened. It's about a restructuring and it's okay. We need to restructure. We can't stay the same. And this is in the hopes and fears. Can I feel? Uh, can I be uh, passionate? Can I regain my motivation? And there could be a particular project that you've got in mind. The counsel or the outcome is that you're going to get a whole lot more logical and realistic. You, I call this the badass queen, queen of swords. It's air energy uh, and it is about uh, putting that uh, logical, um, strategic hat on. That's how you're going to get through this because I feel for some Capricornians you've really taken a punt, like a, a gut punch, a punch. To, you know, I don't mean that literally. I, I feel like you've, the wind has come out of you. Uh, and all you want to do is hide away uh, because some of you have been really let down. Um, Six of Wands is victory. By becoming that Queen of Swords, uh, gaining clarity, uh, you attain some kind of victory. And there's a reunion here um, with family, family and friends. Um, and so whatever's been troubling you uh, comes to right, comes to right in December. It's, it's something where you felt let down and betrayed and you've really felt, you know, like you just want to hide away. But you come back in uh, December with a new attitude. Um, this is very much about making choices and we get uh, awareness, the light bulb moment coming through. And here we're moving into your energy, the Six of Pentacles. So I think that what has thrown you in the past, Capricorn, in December you come, you put it to rights, you come back into yourself, and that's where you stay for a little while, uh, managing through clarity, through pragmatism, through realism, whatever this situation is. But I, I feel you get a win. I feel you, you get a win. Okay, a win in whatever this issue is that's really knocked you for six, as we say. Show me Capricorn, please. Show me Capricorn in December. Capricorn, December. So we get here completion, closing a door. Yeah, it's it's that's a lot of lot of that for all of us. 
ending of cycles and changes on the horizon. Eye of the Needle is a little bit like the Queen of Swords. It's intentionality. What do you intend to happen? How do you intend to be? How do you intend to manage this? You've got to answer all this and plan and strategize it, strategize for it. The dust devil moving out of stagnation. That's what the tower does. We might not like it, but it brings us out of, uh, out of uh, stagnation and we get the stranger curiosity. So this is, you could even meet a stranger that sparks your curiosity. You could open yourself up for new things, but you are moving out of stagnation. Vanishing mirror, mirror, ego sublimation, and the watchers transpersonal. You're, you're, you're transcending something, a situation that's been really difficult for you. You're transcending it in December and coming back into your own uh, clarity and, uh, lead, you know, almost leadership as well, helping others, but helping them in a way that allows them to move forward in the truth and move forward very, very strongly. All right, let's move to Taurus at 16.06. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What can you show me uh, about Taurus? What can you show me? <coughs> Pardon me. I'm seeing the sunflower and the full card as the sun and the full. So there's something about a new start and your own happiness that's wrapped up in this new start. The Fool talks to me or speaks to me about new beginnings, new cycles and new growth. I'm seeing very much new growth. Taurus, there's new growth occurring. You might uh, think that you're not going anywhere. Things are staying the same, which is how you like it to be. But there are offshoots of new growth occurring all the time around you. Show me Taurus, what's coming up for Taurus, hopes, fears, issues, opportunities in December. Taurus in December, please. Alrighty, Five of Pentacles. Well, Virgo got that as well. This is feeling a little bit victimized, but here we have guardrails, uh, the Nine of Wands. You're not going to, you're stopping yourself from feeling like that. If you descend into that, <clears throat> you're stopping yourself. You're also putting the guardrails up so that nobody makes you feel like that. Um, we get the two of wands, something coming to fruition in time. This is a period of waiting for some. It's a period of also others wanting to know what their next step is. Pardon me. The nine of cups in the past is wish fulfillment. You got your wish. Now you're waiting for it to manifest in a way. We get the page of wands. That's lovely. Uh, this speaks to me of new beginnings. And uh, as this is a wand, this is about speaking. Um, it's about, uh, it's, it's the ace of wands. It's about passion and motivation. So it's almost as, as if you, <coughs> after a time, you come into something that's really going to spark your uh, spark your motivation again. It's all fire energy here, strength. It's Leo. It's stepping forward bravely. Uh, we have the two of swords. There's a decision right now that you're making in the here and now. And the hanged man talks about sacrifice, looking at things another way, or pausing or suspending. I get a feeling of waiting for something here in Taurus's reading. Hopes and fears, we have the strength card, which is Leo energy. It's about uh, soft strength as opposed to bulldozing in, in. So I think in many ways you're holding back a little bit. The guardrails are also for yourself. We get the Knight of Wands moving forward very, very quickly. If you're waiting for something now, it's going to speed up really, really quickly. For some, this is moving on out of troubled waters. For others, it could be actually a relocation. Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving help. A lot of sixes here. Six of Swords and Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so walking away from what no longer serves you. Some of you are putting as the Nine of uh, Wands was there, putting the guardrails up about repeating pa past mistakes. You know, where people are drawing on you too much. Um, this is, again, about 
king and queen of swords, becoming very, very logical, planning uh, for the future, because there has been things that haven't gone the way you wanted. And this is about if first you don't succeed, then you, you try something different or you do something different, you know, in order to get what you want and get to where you want to be. So I think you're thinking about, you know, you're, there's a lot of a lot of thoughts going through your head, ruminating through your head as you work out how the decision that you have to make. To not to go down the same pathway again, uh, to put the guardrails and barriers up so that you don't have to go through certain things again. And this is a time of waiting, and I think it's going to be finished really soon. I think that by December you start to see that the wait is uh, is is nearly over, and then things are really quick enough after that. All right, so show me, please. Show me uh, Taurus, please, for December. Taurus for December. So we have confidence in your magic. So, yeah, you're in a good place at this time. Um, and the cosmic wound, the divine feminine, uh, this can be rebirth or birth, waiting for something to to uh, to birth itself. Meditation and st stillness, that's where you are right now, in, in a deep, quiet awaiting and we get neck caster preparations come to fruition. This is where you start to move forward and we get clarity and organisation. Uh, I think, yeah, I think things are going to quicken up for you in the new year, Taurus, in whatever this situation that is that you're in. Uh, we get connectivity and group think. Yeah, so some of you are making the most of, of communities while you're in this kind of waiting period. Uh, but I just see it uh, come December, the wait's not there anymore. It's like it just goes really, really quickly. All right, there are the tarot scopes for uh, Earth signs. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I won't have any tarot scopes in January. Rather, uh, what I'll be doing is releasing, at the end of December, releasing my 2025 tarot scopes. And that's, uh, they'll be individualized for each sign. And I'll look at some astrology as well. And we'll take it quarter by quarter. So this, the next thing, next time I see you with these readings will be probably between Christmas and New Year. I'll let these go or, or perhaps January the 1st, um, December the 30th. And, um, and we'll ring in another New Year with some fairly uh, substantial sign-by-sign -sign individualized tarot scopes here on Marianne, <laughs> Revealing Light, Tarot Astrology and Spirituality. Thank you for tuning in. Bye for now.